Hey guys, it's Alyssa from AlyssaNalani.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I get to do something that I've been looking forward to for quite some time, and that is setting up a notebook or journal for my summer scripture writing. For those of you who haven't been keeping up here on the channel, um, I'm starting a brand new series for the summer, and it's going to be scripture writing through Psalm 119. And so if you want all the information for that and what it all entails and how you can get involved, you can uh, check out my previous video, which is linked below. And it's um, a welcome to Club 119, which is what I am calling it. And there you will find out about um, the club itself and, like I said, how you can get involved. There's a Facebook group you can be a part of and there's a link to sign up if you're interested. So this video is heavily uh, related to all that is going to be going on in Club 119. However, you don't have to be a part of it. You don't have to um, know all about that in order to hopefully maybe get some ideas for your own scripture writing challenges or just scripture journaling that you might be doing um, in any other place. But if you are interested, definitely, again, check the link below or the description box below for all the links so that you can um, get all the information. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about the journal that I'm going to be using for the summer. Now, um, I have a couple in front of me, as you can see. And when I was trying to decide what I wanted to use, there's so many options, of course, and um, Bible journaling has exploded into this thing that you can do in so many different ways. And so I've been vacillating between um, these two particular options. As you can see, I have a couple of Traveler's Notebook inserts. I believe these are by American Craft. They're Heidi Swap brand. And one is a dot grid and one is a regular grid. I hope you can see that. I don't actually know if I'm in frame. But one's dot grid, one is regular grid. And I thought these would be a really great option because um, it's not, a, you know, it's not a thick book. You can fill it quite easily. Um, so for, you know, a season of scripture writing where you're only working on a particular passage, this would be great, especially if you're going to be crafting in it, which I am going to be. So um, I thought this would be a great idea. However, this isn't something that I plan on doing on the go. And I don't have a current traveler's notebook set up that I can just slip this into. And I don't quite feel like making a whole setup just for this. So I decided <laughs> to go with something different. This is a sketchbook, basic, basic sketchbook that I got from Michaels. It's Artist Loft brand. And if you've watched some of my past videos, I do like the Ar Artist Loft brand journals. They are on the cheaper side, but when you're trying a new process out or seeing if a method is going to stick long term, um, I always recommend going a cheaper route rather than investing in an expensive book. So, like I said, this is a sketchbook and it wasn't so much that I was drawn into like the paper quality or anything. I like the size. It's a nice manageable size, lots of space on the page without being huge. Um, so that was a good, a good feature. But what drew me to this is kind of silly, you guys. I'm a book nerd. I love books. I love the way books look on a shelf. And I thought if I'm going to be doing scripture writing long term, which I would really love to do, it would be so nice to have unified or uh, uniform books on my shelf. And this looks like a book, like a novel that I might have on my shelf or any other kind of book I might have on my shelf. And so wouldn't it be nice to have like a collection of these on my shelf? And because it's a Michaels brand, it's not going anywhere, um, I'm assuming. And so, you know, every time I need a new one, I could just hop over to the craft store, get another one, maybe in this color or a different color, and then I'd have a series of matching books. So that was the rationale behind my choice. <laughs> Very nerdy. <laughs> Um, very bookwormy, um, but that is what I've chosen. So I'm going to go ahead with this blue artist loft um, sketchbook and we'll see what happens. So as you can see on the inside, I already have a couple of sticky notes in here because I'm planning out what I want to put inside. And you can't see all of it, but I have like all of my craft stash on my desk. I've got paper, um, scrapbooking paper here and a stack. I've got, let me move these out of the way. I've got this container here where I keep journaling cards and ephemera and scraps and all this kind of thing. Uh, this is a container I got at Michael's. Um, if you're interested, I'll try to find 
this one or something similar to it um, and link it below because I really like this container and it's got a nice um, clear lid sort of clear um, anyway I've got um, these um, circles that I punched out of scrapbooking paper I've got my washi ring I've got ugh, ugh. I've got um, my washi container. <laughs> I've got a lot of things to work with. And let me just say that if you are going to be doing Club 119 with me, I know some of you who are already signed up for the Facebook group, um, some of you are just going to be doing the writing and then some journaling and that's it. And that is totally, totally, totally fine. You don't have to be a crafter in order to get um, uh, you know to have a valuable experience. I just happen to have a lot of stuff that I've that I've gathered over the years And I want to put it to good use and make this a book that I enjoy coming back to anyway That's what I'm gonna be doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit talking <laughs> and I'm gonna speed this up turn on some music, but just sit back and um, Take a look at what I'm gonna be doing. I really am gonna kind of make this up as I go along. So I hope this is of some benefit to you. I hope you get some ideas. And if you do want to join Club 119, again, go to the description box below, uh, click the links and you can join us. So anyway, I will stop talking and let's get started.